Don't leave me. Don't leave me. He's trapping me in here. I didn't want to do this. BRLA. One, two, three. BRLA! What? I'm a bird. You're about to be turned. I'm a bird, you're a bird. You're about to be a virtual bird. It's insane. This is my dream. It's a wise dream. Alright, so uh, you're gonna place this gonna be like that on the panels there. You wanna go under here we show you, right? Just like that. You flap to go a little faster. If you flap and do that, you're gonna go up. If you do that, you'll go down, okay. you'll dive down, and then one up, one down, you'll make a turn. robots. It was a lot of fun, but my gun actually wasn't working. So I was kind of a pacifist playing the game. I was the, the one character who was like Gandhi. All these robots coming at me, couldn't shoot them. I was trying to make friends with them. It wasn't working. Tell me, what's it like this year compared with like the first one you guys started? Oh my god, it's insane. Uh, well, the event just keeps growing and growing and the interest and enthusiasm around VR has not stopped. So it's wild to be back again and now we're in the same hall as any three very first event we you know 50 100 people something like that and now it's grown uh, to this scale how many it's how many is here today you know we'll see number? but we roughly like we'll 4, check the 000. count afterwards but um a lot it's definitely people. north of 5,000. Um, maybe closer to 10. all right so if i could go to one vr experience today what what would it be my favorite that yeah. i've tried yeah, so yeah. far and i haven't actually had a chance to try too sure, much on sure, the floor sure. yeah. there's one i can't remember the name but it's way down on the, on the wall back there and you're in a kitchen and they've got these little sprites and these little characters that jump out and you're in the kitchen you have to grab them there's a waffle iron you have to turn the waffle iron on but it keeps unplugging so you have to plug it back in and you have to squish the little guys in the thing and then there's plant they're on your face and it's like you're surrounded by all these little guys that float and go all crazy and all around you this guy here is the sensor reality pod and there are different vents coming out at him that are shooting air, I'm guessing. What's what's yeah. going on here? So we want to create this full sensory experience. So we have winds, heat, smell, surround sound. So we're about to try out some virtual poker. And there's actually going to be big poker players playing tomorrow in a tournament. So not us. Not us. So here I am at the 3D rudder booth. What's really cool about this is they design a platform that allows you to move your feet around in VR. Tell me, what, what made you come up with this idea? Originally, we, we came up with the idea for uh, computer-aided design to move in digital models while you design. And then we went to CS, we showed it uh, the proof of concept, and we got a prize from Tom's Hardware. Yeah. Hi, this is the Vibroacoustic Sound Lounge. Basically, it's kind of like a cymatic table for your whole body. Cymatics is the thing where they take the plate and they pour sand on it. So you can see here it's got lights on the inside. You can push over your face. <laughs> oh, that's bright. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a virtual reality experience, like everything here, but, but this is different. It's, it's designed from a fundamentally different design paradigm. <laughs> and what it's doing is it's redirecting a person's attention from outward objects and so on, inward into just their raw experience of, of sensation and being. So it's, it's a meditation experience, or you might call it an auto-hypnosis experience. It feeling a lot like a psychedelic. People compare it to 5 meo DMT. Oh, here comes. Oh, man. Oh, man, here comes. Oh, my God. Here Subscribe and check out the next ones. Ooh. Peace out, BRLA. <laughs>